play everything now what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to the show i'm glad you can join me for another video today we are talking about trooper cards now trooper cards are very important to this game because the bosses use them some enemies use them so you want to be able to go back and forth with them now you don't have to use them and you can still be very efficient in this game but i must say using the trooper cards it is fun and i love it it's like having four supers man so anyway what are the best trooper cards today we're going to talk about the swordsman right so in the first slot as corporal First of all, let's talk about what Corporal is. Corporal is running the pack, running the show, the main guy. And you wanna to look to the right on the bottom of the screen where you see Corporal Traits. A lot of people are saying, how come they can't get an extra slot or, or their Corporal Traits are not active? That's because you do not wanna put the Corporal Trait in the Trooper Trait ability section. If you want Corporal Traits to be active, that Corporal Trait must be in the Corporal section. If you put it in the trooper section, it's null and void and you will just get the trooper ability of that card. Okay, now first slot, you're gonna want Kasuga. The reason you want Kasuga in your corporal spot is he temporarily increases attack damage by an unreasonable amount. And in the corporal trait, he increases the number of trooper slots, which is very important. That's the only way for you to get four. And not only that, he amplifies the charge speed of all troopers so he is essential and as you can see i know this is about the swordsman slot but as you can see i have him all in all of my slots no matter what it is is wild dancer um swordsman gunman brawler all essential now second ishida you want this man right here for the essence of the dimensional blade attacks enemies at a close range with a spinning energy slash, and it cannot be guarded. If you're surrounded, let it loose. If you're running right into a crowd of enemies, let it loose. If you got a boss pinned up against the wall, let it loose. I'm telling you, you can't lose with that. Can't lose. Shinada, you need this card in your mix. This is like John Wick. This is like the Matrix. This is like Neo. You need that card. And you'll see why when I show you the gameplay after I finish discussing what I'm talking about here. Last but not least, this beautiful young lady right here, Makoda. Trooper ability, God is a drunk, charges up heat by an unreasonable amount. Now, heat, in my opinion, is the most important ability in the game. The ability to gain heat or the ability to take something to give you heat. Now you have items that can give you heat, but she charges you from about one zero to four, one shot. Now say you don't like this setup right here. One of the setups in here that is interchangeable for me, this trooper card right here is interchangeable. You can change that up. If you're having a problem with health and getting beat up, go ahead and put the health in there. Mess around with her right there. Makamura, I love her. You can put her there, she'll give you a tremendous amount of health. If you like fireballs, you can put somebody with a fireball in there, lightning bolt, anything that you want, you can interchange. But this is the only interchangeable card that I suggest here in the Swordman Formation. All right? I'll do a video on the other ones, but this is just about the Swordsman, all right? So let's move on and check out the gameplay using this lineup. Let's check it out. Roll that beautiful B footage. <laughs> 